Yo, 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 a small ball is thrown from foot of a wall with the minimum possible velocity to hit a bulb on the ground a distance l away from the wall so i have a ball here and it is thrown from the ground with the minimum possible velocity to hit this bulb so we know that the range is maximized at 45 degrees so we already know that this angle should be 45 degrees so find the expression of for the height h of the shadow of the ball on the wall as a function of time because of this bulb there will be a shadow cast on the wall here and this height of the shadow is h and i want to find that height as a function of time so let's have a look so just a small animation to show you how the shadow is going to move because of this bulb a shadow is going to be cast here and i want to find this height so so if uh, y is the y coordinate of the ball and x is the horizontal coordinate and let's say capital r is my range actually the, in the question they have given the range as l but just for this uh, calculation purpose i'm using capital r as my range um, and h small h is the height of the shadow so these are the variables that i'm going to be dealing with and firstly i can calculate the speed here the initial speed knowing that it should be thrown at 45 degrees and i know that the range ka formula is u square sin 2 theta by g so for 45 degrees sin 2 theta will become 1 and my range which is given as l in the question it should be equal to u squared by g and therefore i get the initial speed once i have the initial speed what i can do is i can write a relation between the height of the shadow and this y coordinate by similar triangles so y by h the ratio of the bases should be equal to ratio of these altitudes r minus x divided by the total range r and thus i get this relation but this relation should look very familiar to you from the equation of trajectory so y is equal to x tan theta into 1 minus x by r where r is the range is also one of the forms of equation of trajectory which is not very often used but in this question it is very useful because you can just compare both of these and i know tan theta is 1 because of the 45 degree angle and just compare and you will get h is equal to x and now it's very straightforward the x coordinate is simply the horizontal component of velocity into time so u by root 2 into time and i already know the value of u and this is how i get the value of h so this equation of trajectory is not very commonly used but in this question it provided a very quick solution for us so i'll just give you another question as a practice problem based on this equation of trajectory uh, this is actually quite a common question and you may have already done it during your studies of kinematics but if you haven't you should so i'll just explain the question a, a ball is thrown and it is thrown in such a manner so that it just grazes over this hill so this is a scalene triangle uh, the hill is in the form of a scalene triangle with angles alpha and beta and theta is the angle of projection of the particle of the ball with the horizontal so it should just graze uh, the apex of this hill and land at the other side of the hill and you need to basically find theta in terms of alpha and beta give it a try if you haven't already encountered this question and that's it for today see you guys good night